garden gals and guys, it's Steph with Tiny's Garden and today I am here to paint all of these raised beds behind me that are in front of the house. There's six and then also some in the back. I think I'm going to have to go get paint at some point but it's been a process of figuring out what kind of paint or stain to use on these and I am actually using stain, I should say stain. This gray from Gardener Supply which actually looks pretty black or at least I thought so and so I thought I would try and match and use that stain however it turned out like this it's on its side right now but if you look there it's like a dark brown and it has rained a lot so maybe that was part of it but that up against the black black of the house it's just not the look I was wanting. So instead, I'm using the exact same stain we used on our house from Benjamin Moore, the Arbor Coat Solid Stain in the color Ox. So I'll open this. I think it's the only can I have, so I'm gonna have to do a paint run later, but I'm gonna use a brush like this. This one worked the best when I was doing the stain and get after it. Here's one more look at what it looked like before and then we'll get an after. Okay, let's do this. Okay, one box is done here. Let's take a look. Here's a couple spots that I kind of messed up, but it's fine. Here's where I struggled a little bit. I did the little square in the corner here, which looks actually rather good from this position, but then this one, it's just the top and you can see the inside of the wood, which bothers me a little. I don't mind the inside of the wood showing there, but then we've got this one. And obviously that's different than this one. So, you know, it's not perfect, but it's fine. If I decide to paint all of them, I could, but then it goes down to the soil. I'm just not going to worry about it. That's going to be a conversation piece right there. And I think I'm just going to do the tops of all the rest of them and let the inside still be wood. Besides that, I'm pretty happy with that right there. Yeah, that's much more cohesive. Hi everyone, it's day two and I'm out here getting ready to finish painting these boxes. Also, I've got some Iceland poppies out here, getting some fresh air from the greenhouse and I'd like to plant these soon. So stay tuned for that very shortly. But the objective is to finish these boxes today. A couple things I've learned. One, I should wear gloves when I'm staining these boxes. I've definitely got some residual <laughs> left over from yesterday. So that's noted. Two, I've been using this type of brush and I think it works the best. I had a friend stop by yesterday and he gave me an actual roller so I should try that. And it was definitely faster. He helped me a little bit, but I think doing it on my own, I couldn't get a very even coat and I'm just okay with the staining brush. So that's my conclusion about that. Three, I should eat more bananas. That was quite tasty. And four, I look like a Star Wars character today with this bun I got going here. Let's finish this. Also, this paint is the Onx color in this Arbor Coat. Don't try this at home. This is what I'm using to open this lid. I forgot to pick up one of those silver thingies. Aw, oh, yeah. Little stir, stir, stir. 
Did I mention I'm not a professional painter by any means or stainer? I wholeheartedly am sure that I could be doing this more efficiently or better. So don't make fun of my painting talent, but it's getting done and I'm doing it myself. Here we go. Oh good, <laughs> screws right back in. Last side over here. Those corners are a little tricky, I tell you what. Ay, 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 ay. I just sprayed a bunch of dirt up there. Ah. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Success. Okay, not the tap. One down, one to go. See on the other side. And just like that, I am finished. This is wet, so I should not touch it. But all six of these beds are done in the front. Let's take a look. There they are. I'll have to post a before and after. Here's one more look at what it looked like before. I'm happy with that. And it just looks so much better than the one that I stained that was supposed to be like a black, but really looked dark brown against the house. Oh, a little shabby chic around those top edges, but that's fine. What I can do is when the soil goes down, cause it will a little bit year after year, is go in there and paint those posts all black if I wanted to, but it's a good conversation piece. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Six down, 10 to go. Now these beds back here in the back of our property, I am not going to worry about staining right now. Eventually I would like all of these to be stained as well. I'm assuming the same color that I have up front, but those are very visible from the road in the front of the house and I want it to be aesthetically pleasing and tie in well with our property. So I'm happy with that. However, I wanna save my body a bit because I have a very busy, 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 busy planting season coming up with getting over a thousand seedlings into these boxes and I need my shoulder and my rotator cuff and my back to hang in there. So. I got those six done in the front and then I'll do what I can when I can with these in the back. Speaking of, it's a beautiful evening. I think it's around five o'clock. I've just been lost staining and I am going to try and get some plants into those boxes, I think. My first ones of the season. Ooh. Nothing quite like the first plant you put in the ground at the beginning of the season, am I right? So that'll be it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Let me know any painting staining tips or tricks I'm missing to make this even more efficient and go quicker because as you can see I'm not entirely done these will get done eventually so please comment below and let me know and if you haven't subscribe to my channel to follow along with all things garden I'd love to have you here thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye happy planting